the opposition doesn't really want any abatement of this crime. As a matter of fact, I think they're very happy that their expectation has come to pass. Declare all criminals terrorists and wipe them out as terrorists. But remember, that proposal is coming from a former commissioner of police who is now a politician. Who could tell you what you straight in the face and tell you that two people who were killed in police custody died because they fall off a chair? Between 2007 and 2017, Falcon was arrested and charged with 70 offenses, including multiple counts of rape, kidnapping, false imprisonment, larceny, and robbery with aggravation. A message from Gary Griffith to Keith Rowley. The country listened to you again in disgust to see and hear a Prime Minister in a post-Cabinet press conference operate yet again in true Wajang behaviour, full of hate and anger, totally out of control, using a post-Cabinet press conference to hardly say a thing about what transpired in Cabinet, but to use as a political platform to attack and speak about opponents. Every time you speak it, you continue to speak to fight for the rights of criminals and never about the rights of law-abiding citizens. So to bring facts to your lies and misleading comments in the post-Cabinet media conference that had little to do with decisions made in Cabinet, let me clarify to the country. One, Keith Rowley, you are a liar. I challenge you to show where I ever stated that persons held by the police died because they fell off a chair. But in true email gate style, you continue to lie and mislead the nation in your desperation to discredit those opposed to you. But you know what? It is good to know that you show your concern for the loss of life of those with over 70 charges for rape and kidnapping, inclusive of Andrea Barrett. And by the way, have you ever voiced similar concern to the families of the 70 plus women who were raped, kidnapped, and probably even killed by these same individuals who you now demand justice for? Two, Keith Rowley, you're a liar. I never said that we should declare all criminals as terrorists. I said any gang member in possession of an illegal automatic weapon that can kill 35 innocent citizens in three seconds should be deemed a terrorist. We have persons here, these criminal elements, they have uh, assault weapons, automatic weapons that can fire 35 rounds in three seconds. 35 rounds in three seconds. Let me show what that means. If it is that five of them stand up here right now, everyone in this room could be killed in three seconds. If that is not a terrorist, I don't know what is. Anyone who has a problem with that obviously doesn't care about this country. Over 4,000 citizens in this country have been killed in the last decade by illegal firearms by the same gang members. And yet again, you show concern and sympathy that they can be labeled terrorists, which would have then allowed the law enforcement agencies to take them on, head on, and end this madness once and for all. It again shows that your government is sympathetic to criminal elements more than the concerns of law-abiding citizens. Keith Rowley, you are a hypocrite and you are deceitful. When you were in opposition, you said that the government is the problem for crime escalating. And now that you are in government, in your post-cabinet media conference that had nothing or little to do with cabinet decisions, you are now saying that it is the opposition that is responsible for the escalation in crime. Keith Rowley, you have no shame, no compassion. A police officer who secures you, who guards you, is killed. And the next morning, as per norm, in your true lazy style, you are in Mocha Golf Course for hours whilst the nation works and the family of the police officer who was there and supposed to escort you to play golf mourns. Keith Rowley, you continue to fight for the rights of criminals at the expense of the rights of law-abiding citizens. This is why you are doing everything possible to prevent law-abiding citizens to acquire firearms and have no concern with the state now trying to now seize legal firearms from those who have it, whilst you continue to do nothing to seize illegal firearms that have been responsible for 99.5% of murders by firearms in this country in the last decade. Keith Rowley, you are the problem. You continue to fight for the rights of criminals by even demanding that gangs have the right to apply for state contracts. I hope the nation now understands where they get their funding from and why our country is drowning in blood. Keith Rowley, you are always full of hate, anger, and lies, and you are getting a meltdown. The media is seeing it, and they are afraid to challenge you. The country is also seeing it, which is why your actions would ensure that this government continues to collapse and would be removed from office when election is called, because your hate, anger, and lies continue to divide the country.